Hi everyone, this is Linda. Welcome to my channel. Hi guys. So today guys, I want to share with you what I've been up to. I took some of the art supplies that I got from Timu and I put them to the test and I want to share with you guys the results. So I have been just really busy trying to use each one of these watercolors. I'm going to start with those first. And I'm going to show you an example from each one. And I'll start with the flower, okay? So the flower, of course, is the six little flowers. Um, just simple colors, pinks. And I'm going to show you how it turned out. So if I can find it. So I have in this an example of pretty much a, an abstractic. I just kind of drew this out of my head. Um, just wanted to lay something down. Um, you can see the shimmer um, and you can see that it um, took to the paper. This is um, B paper, 100% cotton. Um, I got this from uh, Amazon. So um, overall I'm pretty pleased with the effect. Um, it's just not real pigmented. Of, uh, I'm just going to tell you that right now. It's very light. Um, I did a few layerings um, in a few places here and um, down in here and here. Um, still not, it's very light, um, very translucent. So that is that. Okay. And um, before I get any further, I do want to share. I did some swatch cards up and I put them on a ring and. Um, and I labeled them. So that was the flower there. And you can see how light that they really are and not really pigmented. So let's move on to the next. So let's go to the candy. So this is what the candy one is. Okay. So I thought this turned out rather cute. So this is the candy one that I came up with. And they are just kind of swirly lollipops. Um, they really lay down really well, and I like the pastel colors, so I kind of went with it and just had fun with this one. Um, I believe I used every color. I was trying to use all the colors for these, so even in the last one I did. So that's what that looks like, okay, and it was pretty good. So, because I like the variety of the colors, and I love pastels anyway. So, with it, the candy is right here, and you can see how pretty they are. And they all are shimmery, just like the others, um, but you do have a shimmer. I don't know if the pic uh, camera's picking it up, but it does look really good. I do like these. Alright, let's move on to the next. Okay, so we'll go to the macaron. Macarons back to the six colors. Okay, and with it. Oh, you know, I don't know if I did this one. I think I missed that one. I did. Okay, we're just going to keep moving on. That one I'll have to put back with the others. There's a few um, supplies I haven't got to try yet. Um, so we'll go to the ocean. So here's the ocean. There's the swatch. Okay. Here, of course, is the paints. You know, they're getting used for sure. And I'll show you the painting that I did with it. Now, these are um, not shimmery, they're saying they're glittery, but um, I don't see any glittery to these at all. They, to me, are very flat. So there's a little um, scene that I did using those colors. And I pretty much used, um, I would say, all the greens, the purples, a couple of the browns, and um, some, most of the grays. So I did use just about all of those. So that's what I came up with that. And it is very, um, I want to say, opaque but 
to the point, you know, it is no shine, no glitter. No glitter at all in there. So I'm, I'm tilting this this way, and I see one speck of glitter right there. But I don't know. It might be from my... I don't see any glitter. So that's what I came up with was that. Alright, so that's the ocean one. Alright, moving on to the next. It is the vintage. So the vintage, of course, is the um, golds, purples, dark purples, the greens, and of course we have some white in there. So this is what I came up with it. I did a botanical with it, and um, yes, it is shimmery. The light's picking up the shimmer, and um, I liked it. I the greens could be more greener for me um, but they are on the um, lighter side let me see here if I did one for my vintage um, yes here's the vintage swatch so you can see they're very light the greens um, but for vintage look you know, I, I did the foliage because I wanted to see what a, a foliage would look like. So that's what that looks like. Okay, and they laid down well on the paper. They did. They were they were um, they were smooth, not gritty. I was expecting them to be gritty, but they were not. All right, so that was the vintage one. Now let's move on to the standard one. Standard one is. Um, these colors here and here is the swatch of those colors they're very bright and I really like the color choices with these and this is what I did with it I did an Eiffel Tower the little landscape behind it with the city um, some roses so that, I think that turned out pretty cute um, try to use all the colors there but um, yeah, this is this was nice. I like this one too. Okay, so let's move on to this little um, watercolor pad. So what I did with it, I just wanted to see how well the paint would take to the paper. Now I use a different um, paint for this. I used a um, the Meiling. This is the mailing from Amazon. A um, little bit better paint. Um, and I wanted to see how it would blend and lift off off of this paper. It's all about the paper for this one. So, um, and it did quite well. It did blend and it mixed and it lifted off really nice. So, um, yes, I like that. So I'm anxious to cut start filling that little book up so there's that it has a ni nice little um, gummy for it okay so next all right the next is these earth tone um, graphite pencils so this is by um, a company called Morrison and I'm going to show you what I did so um, First, here's the swatching for those. That's what they look like. Okay. Now the pencils lay down on this mixed media paper quite nicely. They were smooth. And let me show you what I did with it. I just did a rough sketch of some flowers, like in front of a window, and that's what I came up with. So you know they're they're a dull graphite color. So um, a lot of times I was picking them up. And I didn't swatch them in the beginning, and I was finding like uh, the colors are like kind of deceiving a little bit. I want to say like you have to um, really look at it. And when you open up the uh, packet, it has a color at the bottom of the pen uh, pencil. You know the colors are there, but um, like some of them kind of look alike, like the brown and the deep burgundy they kind of look like they are the same color but um, all in all they were smooth and they 
seem to um, go to the page nicely and they blend in nicely so so that is those okay all right so let's move on to the um, gouache so um, I did this painting out of with the used gouache that's from Tamu okay and they're kind of falling out of their little thing and they're the small they're not really um, really big they are only 12 milliliters so but let me show you what I painted with those okay they did quite nicely actually so let me get this open to the page all right so here's what I did with those and they did wonderful um, I really like the result that I got with these they are um, really nice to work with um, really pigmented really opaque um, like they are nice I really like how they turned out so there is that and I didn't do a swatch for these I did this in another video and I showed that same painting but I kind of wanted to get busy and started to test out some of these supplies to let you all know how they are doing so I picked up these um, classic pastel pencils so these are supposed to be um, like good for portraiture and skin tones well I'm not a portraiture artist I'm lousy at it I am a landscape seascape floral botanical artist and that is where my niche is so um, I wanted to show you what I did and I did this really quickly today so I could get something down on paper so I did this tree and I know this can be so much better but I wanted to just get the feel out of how they felt laying these down and I want to tell you these are very scratchy they are scratchy to um, the paper I used the mixed media paper once again this is Grumbacker it's a medium texture um, now it may be do well more on a smoother like a Bristol board but um, that's what I came up with they blended nicely they did blend nicely and um, so I did the greenery in the background with the um, water soluble crayons which that are that's these and these are excellent um, blending they do blend out really nicely and I had showed in a previous video that they do blend very nicely okay so I want to show you guys like just how nice that these blend because I really like these okay so let me get okay so I'm just gonna get this wet all right and they just really blend really really nice okay so that is those maybe add a little bit more of the red into that okay so you get a feel for how they perform okay all right so um there's a couple weathers i haven't done yet and i'll show you what they are i have um i have these charcoal pencils yet to try i have the brute ferner um just regular drawing pencils and then there is these brute ferner the oily color pencil white and black 
to try those out to see how they are. Um, and then I also had the uh, macaroon. I'll have to do that. That'll be in another video. So I hope this video helped you guys out. And um, I'm trying to talk a little louder because there's kids outside and they're going to get loud. So I hope it doesn't pick them up yelling. <laughs> but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, be watching for the next, for the next um, episode. I want to say for me doing the rest of these others. Um, I did do um, some black. It's like... Um, I can't find them. Let me see. They are they are these um, graphite sticks, and they come in different um, grades. Like this is six B. I'll show you quickly what I did. I'm not happy with it. It was just something to lay down to try them out, and I did these, and they're water soluble. So after I got going and blended it, I added some. Um, color through there but that's what they look like and they blend it quite nicely also but of course you know I can do a lot better but I just wanted to get something on paper to get the feel for it to see how it does and just to have um, something to report back to you guys so but anyway until next time guys you guys have a great weekend and I will see you soon bye bye guys